Hey guys, Dr. Greg Rose here with OnBase University. I want to talk a little bit about hitting and I want to talk a little bit about the kinematic sequence of hitting. So I've got a player up here on the screen that came in recently and I want to talk a little bit about energy transfer. So one of the things that we see when we're looking at all strikers, hitters, hockey players, golfers, tennis players, doesn't matter, we like to see the big segments, the lower body starts the power and as that power transfers through their body, it gets faster. Right? I would say it's like a wave in the ocean. It starts as a little bump and it grows and grows and grows until it crashes at contact. Right? So what you're going to want to see is on your hitters, you're going to see them start energy from the ground. The speed of the lower body is going to start to move. And then as it transfers to the trunk, it's going to get faster to the arms, going to get faster. And then the barrel is going to be going the fastest. And if you look on this player here, on the kinematic sequence here, you can see the red represents the lower body. The red, it accelerates. It gets to about this point right here. And then the trunk accelerates. That's the green. And if you notice on this player, the blue is the arm, I should see almost equal amount of energy transfer from the pelvis to the trunk, from the trunk to the arm. So I get energy from the red to the green. There should be green to blue, it should jump, but the green and the blue are almost going the same speed. So I don't see a big jump in energy between their trunk and their arms. Now I see a big tra transfer energy from the arm to the bat. So really on this player, they're missing one of their links. So if you're thinking about this, is he's taking energy from the ground, transferring it to his trunk, then the trunk and the arms are almost going together and then going to the barrel. Whereas if you look at some of the most powerful hitters, the ones with the biggest exit velocities, you're going to see it goes from the lower body, transfers to the trunk. The trunk is then going to go and then it's going to transfer to the arm. Now how does this transfer happen and why is this player not getting that speed? Well, let's talk about that. You have these things called stretch shortens. Like if I was going to jump as high as I can jump, I would stretch the muscles of my legs first and then I would jump. That creates more power. The same thing happens in your shoulder. If you look at the front shoulder with a lot of hitters, what you're going to see is as they start their trunk, the front shoulder is going to load. They call that separation. The hands will actually go back as the trunk goes forward. That loads all these muscles. And then once these muscles are loaded, then the arms are going to accelerate off the trunk. And we'll get this transfer of energy from the trunk to the arms. But if the player can't separate, let's say they don't have the flexibility in the front shoulder, lead shoulder, and everything kind of turns together, it's really difficult to get an energy transfer. So whenever we see something like this, where there's not a lot of energy from the torso to the arm, first thing we do is we check that front shoulder mobility. We have a test that on base I'd like to share with you called the separation test that does exactly that. Here's what that test is. We take a player, we have them hold their bat. They have them take their normal grip, put their hands right over their armpit take their dominant side. First thing we do is we ask them to raise their, their trail elbow as high as they can. And now from this position, without turning their torso, keep the torso pointing straight forward, we say just go ahead and press that barrel, your hands out as far as you can laterally, right? So I'm gonna try and not turn my shoulders, keep my shoulders pointing at the camera, and I'm gonna go out lateral. Now what you're gonna see is one of three positions. If you look at the hands, the hands are either gonna be outside the elbow, equal to the elbow, or inside the elbow. If the hands are inside the elbow, they have a hard time separating that front shoulder. On this player that we were talking about here on the screen, we asked him to push the arms out and he was like, man, I, I feel like there's a block. Now sometimes players can feel a block because of the front shoulder, normally. Some players might even feel something in the back arm. I think this player felt something in both arms, right? So it was our first sign that maybe there was a flexibility, something problem between the trunk and the shoulder. And that usually shows up pretty clear on there with power. And the good news about this is if we free that up, well, then you could potentially have more exit velocity the next time you hit a ball. This is Dr. Greg Rose of Base University. Hope that helps you become a better hitter.